Okay, let's talk about how to maintain moisture during the initial processing of your aerated static pile. Uh, mine tend to dry out, uh, especially in active um, aeration, but even in the uh, passive aeration like this one. Through trial and error, I found that I can maintain good moisture if I re-wet it uh, with 225 gallons every week. That is a windrow that's about 50 feet long, 14 to 15 feet wide, and uh, five and a half to six feet tall after it's settled. It's bigger, of course, when it's first built and uh, bigger when it's fluffed up. Here we see the submersible pump uh, I use um, in case you want to get something similar to that. Notice it has a two inch diameter outflow. This is the uh, uh, the outlet hose and then we've got more of a regular fire hose all two inch and at the end we've got a, a nozzle so I can control the rate of flow. When I wet uh, uh, the batch each week I'll, I'm going to wet the, uh, the side that is toward the center of my pad more because afterwards you'll see I, I fluff it up kind of partially turn it over that breaks it up a bit spreads that moisture get some air into it. Of course, when you maintain moisture at your site, you're going to need to do some trial and error as well. Uh, wet it maybe every week, every other week, just see how it goes. And then when you move it to curing, you can see if it's overly dry uh, on the inside of the pile and adjust from there. After I partially turn it, I go back and make sure that all of the uh, side uh, inlets are uh, free and clear so that air can get in there. Uh, the bricks and things on the sidewall are just to let me know where these pipes are in case I accidentally cover them up. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.